Hello, I'm Chris Gilley, and I created Trend SPL reporting systems for live event volume monitoring and reporting. It is a simple, powerful SPL meter system for the Mac that works in conjunction with the included Galaxy CM150 meter via a USB interface cable or the optional Studio Technologies network-based SPL devices. Trend puts the meter's level value on screen with numbers and a bar meter. The power behind Trend becomes realized in the flexibility of the configuration window. At the top are two columns, Regulation and Trend. The Trend values are set to customize measurement to your specific needs, whether they are very quiet or extremely loud. These are typically set to be more conservative than the selected regulation standards, so you can have a realistic volume target instead of just trying to stay below a ceiling. By default, regulation is set for OSHA HC and trend is set for hybrid G1. This is very conservative, yet has proven effective, generous, and practical for a variety of venues running at various volume levels. Read more about hybrid G1 and about volume and measurement in general at www.howloudisit.com. Below are many more settings including automatic reporting via iCal, email reports to anyone, automatic email notifications if it gets too loud, or various other triggers, and automatically makes entries into spreadsheet logs, tweets your levels along with other live event facilities, and that's just the beginning. Accepting these default values is a great place to start and know more immediately about your volume than ever before. Here's where you can see that trend is so much more than just a meter. From all the values you just saw in configuration, there's now a green, yellow, and red tick mark on the right side of the meter. Green represents threshold. This is the point at which levels count as exposure. Everything below the threshold is blue and everything above is green. Next are the yellow and red tick marks indicating the recommended minimum and maximum levels for music. This is made clearer by a yellow shaded area between them. Levels within this zone are yellow and anything above the zone is red. Along the left side of the meter is the TWA pointer. This is a time-weighted average of all levels that counted as exposure all levels that were above the green threshold tick mark. Keeping this TWA pointer within the zone is the goal, as it represents the average exposure level. To keep this pointer within the zone, levels will have to go above and below the zone. This reveals how instantaneous levels impact the TWA, the level that's used to determine a person's noise exposure. The timer under the meter shows how much cumulative time that levels were above the threshold and again counted as exposure. Clicking on the timer will allow a restart. The TWA pointer will disappear until the first moment level exceeds the threshold, since that's the first moment level counted as exposure and contributes to the TWA. To further help an engineer or supervisor keep a handle on levels is a beacon window. This shows the SPL level in larger numbers and can be resized and repositioned onto any connected display to make it as subtle or as in your face as is helpful or required. The beacon background colors follow the meter, so it's very easy to see the yellow even peripherally when you are in the zone, and when it turns red, it is very obvious to turn it down. Again, all this follows the completely customizable levels as set in configuration. You can click on the level to generate a manual report. Here's where you can see, in plain English, the details about volume levels over time with your conservative trend target values compared directly to the regulation standards. These reports are automatically logged and again can be emailed instantly to any email address and configuration if your computer is on the network. You can save your settings as a file and this will remember everything including meter and beacon position and as a file iCal can launch it for you as well as restart and capture automatically. A web serve option allows any device with a browser, like an iPhone, iPad, laptop, or desktop that's on the same network as the Trend Mac to see levels and stats in real time with a one second refresh display rate. Anyone that is given this specific address can see levels, even over Wi-Fi from a seat in the house or an office. And that's just a few of the reasons why Trend is the simple, powerful SPL meter system for the Mac. Every FOH needs Trend. Visit www.howloudisit.com to read more and order Trend. Thank you for looking at Trend SPL reporting systems.